Um, but fact of the matter is, dings and dents matter. And this is a, this is a kinder and gentler way to um, to communicate that. I'll ask you, uh, Mario, how many keys to the car? Your car do you have? One. Mario, where's the other key? I lost no, it. No way we can find it. I mean, you, I mean, you, I get a look of consternation. Oh shit! <laughs> um, well, the reason I'm asking Mario is because those things. Did you look into how much it would cost to replace? Yeah, a couple hundred bucks. Hey, you didn't replace it, did you? No. Most people don't, but you end up paying for it anyway. Okay, when you trade your car. But wait a minute. Did you purchase a key replacement policy by any chance? Okay. Um, by the way, the vehicle you're looking at comes with key replacement, uh, complimentary for six months, and you can extend that out, and you should think about it. Had you had key replacement, it would have made your car worth more, okay? Boom. Scraped up wheels. You, you, you get it? You get it? This is why I would want to do a trade walk. I mean, I want to learn about my customer. I want to, I want to, I want to lower their expectations. I don't want to trash your customer's car. Trash my, trash my property, I don't like you. If I don't like you, I'm less likely to buy from you. But if you help me understand that scraped up wheels, lack of keys, cracks in the windshield, dings and dents, if you help me understand that this affects the value of my vehicle, you're educating me. Most consumers suck at buying cars. Why? They don't do it. They don't do it very often. We do it every day. They're not stupid. I'm, most customers I talk to are smarter than I am, but they don't do it but once every three, four, five years. Now, when I post this video, I'll get trash for calling people customers stupid. I'm not calling customers stupid. I'm just saying you don't <laughs> buy cars very well. That's why we're here to help you. Okay? They'll hate, they hate me. They truly hate me. Um, th that's, I mean, again, I'm not going to get off this tangent. I didn't put this in the book. It, it's, it's something when I come back, if, if you decide that uh, doing trade walks, would make sense. I'll do. I'll do nothing but trade walk training when I come back. And by the way, when I come back, because I can already tell you guys are smart enough, I'm not going to have to come back here and train Motor Trend certified every couple months by any stretch of the imagination. But there's other things I train. Are there other things I train? Yes. Yes. And you know, down at Sam's store, I mean, I, I've unless it's new people, I'm I'm training uh, closing and objection handling skills to all his people. And how often do you go to his store? Um, I, I see him quarterly. Yeah, in fact, I'll be there next week at his store. I, said hi. Uh, I will do it. Do um, you, you know I'm going next week? No, I'm going tomorrow. Oh, you're going tomorrow? <laughs> okay. All right, and, and I'll be back here. I'll be back here. Is How often do you guys I have uh, hire new salespeople? Not very often. Okay. If you do, um, you can always call me and I'll do a webinar for you. If, if, like, you. if you bring one person on, I can do a webinar for them too. All right, between visits. And when I come back, I'll always check with you and your management team, and you guys tell me what you want. You know, I'll give you a list of stuff I can do, and you'll say, well, yeah, let's do this, that, or say, Steve, we don't need you. No one's ever said that. <laughs> Never said that. Because I'm fun. Jim, we'll pitch in. <laughs> um, so, uh, so communicating uh, paintless dent repair, if you're not doing a trade walk, or if they don't have a trade, we can't do what I just demonstrated. So what I might say is, hey, Michael, have you ever had a ding or a dent? Um, when you got the dinger dent, did it make you mad? Um, did you look into what it would cost to get the dinger dent fixed? Okay, 50 or 60 bucks, um, maybe up to 75 for the smaller ones, up to 150 for the bigger ones. But you know, even though you didn't pay to have those fixed, Michael, you did end up paying for those dings and dents. You know how? Hey, when you traded the vehicle in or you sold it outright, doesn't matter. Someone deducted from the value of your vehicle for every ding or dent you had. You'll be glad to know the vehicle you're purchasing comes with paintless dent repair, complimentary for six months, and you can always extend that coverage out. So you see, you see what I'm doing here? This isn't complicated stuff, okay? <clears throat> You've only got paintless dent repair, cosmetic wheel repair, key replacement, which are three really, really good benefits and windshield repair is the simplest one to talk about. If you get a crack or a star, we'll fix it for you. If it's small enough, if it's too big, your insurance company's got to replace it. Remember, it's not windshield replacement. It's windshield repair. Um, and 